What's up guys, John here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the two best real estate segments right now. These two pockets are getting so much attention from people like Jeff Bezos and Steven Schwarzman. I mean, to put this into context, Bezos is buying 1,000 different units of these properties throughout the entire country. Steven Schwarzman, he owns a company called Blackstone. Co-founder Blackstone has $500 billion in assets under management. He has two seats on Donald Trump's board. And I mean, he's, he's up there. He's the biggest of the big. And he's out there, they're spending a half a billion dollars on these different properties going forward right now. So two different asset classes, and they're going after them with aggressive fashion. I personally think that these markets, these pockets are going to be one of the hottest things to hit real estate. I think they're ultimately gonna be like a two or three or four X multiplier over the course of the next 15 or 20 years. Just getting so much attention in these two areas strictly because of what's going on right now and how the world is changing, they see it first. And this is what makes them who they are. They see the trend before everybody else sees it. They run out there, seize the opportunity, they fix the market, and then ultimately they end up scoring. And that's what's gonna happen right now. So that being said, I'm gonna share what they are, how they're buying them, and everything you need to know. Please hit that like button, drop your comments below, hit the subscribe button to learn a lot about passive income, real estate, business, and money. All right, guys, let's begin. I'm gonna start with Blackstone first. Jonathan Gray, Steven Schwarz, and what they're doing is absolutely genius. I honestly think that this is gonna be the number one the number one segment that you want to be in as a landlord, and I'm going to explain why and what this segment is. Segment is trailer parks and mobile home parks. Why I love this so much is because we're going to be stepping into a recession. Everyone knows this. And in a recession, what do people do? They downsize. They're looking for an affordable place to live. They want a nice place to live. And where do they go? They go from the house to the apartment. The apartment to the trailer park or mobile home park. Well, there's only 6,250 mobile home parks in the entire country. So of these 6,250 mobile home parks, $800 million of these have traded in just the last year. That's an increase of 23%. That's massive in just one year. So that goes to show where the smart money is going, where the smart money is focused, which is affordable living. And what Blackstone is doing right now is they're on a buying spree. They just bought $200 million worth of mobile home parks and trailer parks on top of this upwards of $550 million investment right now. So they're going out there accumulating these large lots for a variety of reasons. Number one is they're buying a huge parcel of land and letting people park there. So when you have this, what happens is people don't wanna leave. They get comfortable. They don't wanna move. It's not like moving from an apartment. They have a, a home. So this is giving them much more of a commitment level to living there. So as a landlord, they can increase rents. They can just keep increasing rents. And they're buying them in smart locations. They're not buying them in New York and California where they have no rights and no control over their assets. They're buying them in places like Florida with a huge retiree. This is a huge retiree destination and Arizona. So it's absolutely just really smart. It's really smart. They catch people that are moving there right now. They're buying, people are moving at a thousand people a day. A thousand people a day are moving to Florida right now. So you buying mobile home parks is just smart business. So they're going really hard in this area. Uh, Sam Zell, he was the first person to this party. If you don't know who he is, equity residential, equity office. I mean, he owns a ton of mobile home parks all throughout the country. And he started buying them in 2010, 2011 or to make a 1300% return on his initial investment. So this is where the smart money is going. Smart money is going straight to trailer parks, mobile home parks. The issue you might have is there are bigger deals. I mean, that $550 million deal is a, it's only 40 parks. So 40 parks or $550 million, you, you, have to, you have to kind of be a player to hop into this. But if you have the money and you start out, you know, multifamily, small scale multifamily first, and you start with one deal, roll it into two deals, roll it into three deals, and you keep growing, you eventually can get here where you can do big deals like this. And I just see so much opportunity here. In this recession, the affordable housing provider is going to win. 
It's not gonna be the luxury developer. It's not gonna be the one building these massive spec homes or trying to flip houses. It's gonna be the one offering mass affordable housing. That is gonna be the real winner in this game. And Blackstone is just hitting it out of the park here. So great, great strategy. And that leads me to number one, which is what Jeff Bezos is doing right now. So number one is what Amazon is doing right now. Jeff Bezos is a just a genius, obviously. But what he's doing now is ultimately gonna change business as we know it in America. And the chain of events happening around the world right now benefits him the most, I believe, out of anyone in this planet. And so let me paint the picture of what his investing strategy is and why it is so smart. So the traditional buyer would go to the mall, try a shirt on, make a decision if they're gonna buy it and buy it and go home. Well, what Bezos is doing is realizing the malls are closed. The shopping experience is horrible for consumers. They're spending their money on my store, amazon.com. Now, if they could go and get a package delivered in 30 minutes, they would probably just stay home for their own safety and have that package delivered to their home if they could have it that fast. Well, this is what he's doing. He's buying 1,000 warehouses throughout the entire country, targeting locations near malls. He has now FAA drone approval, so he can deliver packages five pounds and below, and this drone can deliver within 15 miles of the location. So he is essentially encompassing all the attention around these malls, bankrupting the malls, and he is a He's now trying to buy these malls from the distressed owners. And he's gonna start doing that in an aggressive fashion. But I think the really the pain has to be more felt in the market so he can buy them at substantial discounts. But he's moving aggressively. I mean, they're hiring 175,000 employees. 175,000 employees right now. They already have over 840,000. So they're gonna have over 1 million employees but this is where things get not so great for small and medium sized business, even large business, is that how can you compete with a 15 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute delivery? You can't, especially when you know you go on amazon.com and you can buy something for 10, 15, 20% below the cost of buying it in the store. So it's gonna make it very hard for everyday people to, to compete on the business environment as Amazon casts its web over the entire country and offers these incredible shopping experiences. He, I think, is gonna be one of the largest landowners in America. Give it about five years and he'll be way up there. He's already accumulating a ton of warehouses and if you look at what he's doing, it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible. He's gonna change business, so is Blackstone with their mobile home uh, business model. But what they're both doing that's very interesting is their goal is to accumulate mass quantities of land because they know as the population grows, as people are more dependent on saving money, they're gonna start spending on amazon.com to save money. They're gonna to go to mobile home parks to, to live at an affordable price point. So these people are very smart, obviously, and there's something we can learn from them. So that being said, on this channel, what you're gonna learn is about real estate, is about passive income, business and money, because I think we're gonna walk through a huge change in this overall economy. And I think there's gonna be massive opportunity for those investors that are smart, that are ready, willing, and able to run out there and take advantage of a great deal. I really do think we're gonna have one of the best buying opportunities in history. Here's why. So we have a 9% mortgage default rating right now, which is the highest it's been in nine years. So that means nine out of every 100 homes in the country is behind on their mortgage payments. We have about 5 million homes right now that are in forbearance, which is not registered as a default. So this is not in the 9%. There's 5 million more houses. You have upwards of 60 million people that can be evicted by the end of the year. And you have more and more and more companies going under and more and more and more people going unemployed every single day. And this does not look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. So that being said, as this all comes to a head, these prices are just gonna drop. And when they drop and you know what to do, you're able to make a life-changing investment, life-changing passive income multifamily investment. So I hope that is what you do. I hope that is what you consider. Because if you do, 
you will live a different life, you'll be happier, you'll have more freedom and peace of mind knowing that you bought that one cash flowing deal. So that being said, please hit that like button, drop your comments below, hit the subscribe button, you will not regret it. Don't forget to hit that bell and I will see you guys next time.